Today is Monday, February um, 22nd, and the title of this rant will be, How Do You Solve a Problem Like the Donald? Uh, coming from the, the Sound of Music, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria? So Trump won big, uh, Trump's looking good, and what's going to happen from now? This really is going to be such uncharted territory uh, that a lot, a lot of things could happen. Now, can Donald be stopped? What's going to happen with uh, the, 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 the last couple? Bush has dropped out. He had 6, 8, 10 percent, something like that. Will that go to Rubio? Uh, should Kasich drop out? I think he has enough money. He's going to stick around till maybe at least Ohio. I don't even know when that is. And Carson, uh, he's just grifting to try and make some money. So, uh, But if the Kasich and Carson dropped out, let's say Carson's votes went to Cruz and the other ones were split between uh, the Donald and Rubio, you could almost have a three-way tie going into all of this stuff. And the crazies are just really going to happen even more so at that time. Nothing has stuck to Donald, so he's just going to be as outrageous and outlandish as he can possibly be. And of course, you know, I'm of the opinion that there isn't anything that he's going to say or do that's going to really affect him. So I don't really pay attention whenever he talks because he t says the same thing every single time. There's nothing new about it. And if he says something about Landis, who cares? Uh, it's all par for the course for him. And of course, this is who he is. This is his psyche. This is what, the way he has been treating other people for the last 40 or more years ever since, uh, uh, you know, he got out of Wharton, you know, School of Economics. Uh, <laughs> you know, because that's how you run, do, do things. That's how you roll in New York City. Uh, and but the thing is, he's really only topping at about 35 percent. He only got 32 percent in South Carolina. You know, how many people uh, who are behind Cruz and Rubio really want to go for the Donald if he's the man? How, how enthusiastic will they be uh, to go out to to support Donald if he end up, ends up being uh, the nominee? Will there be a, a fair amount of uh, of uh, of conservatives, uh, Christian, Pentecostal, those types of conservatives following the down. Now, remember, he got a lot of them in South Carolina. But when you went down even further, <laughs> you found out that they were the most conservative of the conservatives. And that in South Carolina, they, they're much more representative of South Carolina than they are of the conservatives in the Pentecostals in the United States. So on a greater basis, they wanted uh, there to be no Muslims coming into the United States. They wanted to kick Muslims out. They wanted to close mosques, etc. cetera. Uh, you know, so uh, can he continue to get those type of people in, in the greater election? And since the next couple rounds would be mostly the SEC primary and Donald takes a big chunk out of that, how much, you know, how well can he really, really do in a general election, especially when you have states as New York, California, Florida, Michigan, Ohio, much more representative of the country as a whole, as opposed to some of these southern states. So uh, when you're topping out at 32 or 35 percent like the Donald is and po most at 40, uh, 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 will those other 60 percent within your own party uh, make that make that giant leap and jump behind you uh, full faith and credit, so to speak? Uh, now, the other thing is. Uh, is Rubio now going to be the big moneyed interest? Will the big money make this bit push right now to go after the Donald now that he has uh, is and is it too 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 late to do this? You know the big money had been standing on the sidelines a fair amount because they wanted to see how it played out. Uh, Rubio had his little fall, his gaff, and he will have more, <laughs> you know, uh, but he will kowtow to the Republicans, to the big money interest, to the corporatists. Uh, and are they willing to go after him to 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 put their money behind him and, and, and make him their man? Uh, and can he really deliver for them? I mean, these are all things that got to be played out right now. Uh, how much of them, how do they, do this, does the big money think that they can work with the Donald and how much can they work with the Donald? Because he's so unpredictable. You know, the Republicans who are corporatists, they don't care about this abortion stuff. They don't care about this Black Lives Matter stuff in terms of the way the, Repub uh, the GOP candidates are, are, are going. They, they care about money. They care <laughs> about continuing that money. And Rubio has showed them that he will do their bidding. Donald, not so much so. Now, 
Could he? Uh, but his uh, his uh, his economic policies, you know, pretty much are in line with all the Republicans, so to speak. But could he change his tune? Because they, he's unpredictable. Will they follow Rubio? Uh, will they take him? Will they take him to the hill, so to speak? Will they? Uh, uh, go after the Donald in ways that we have not seen in a long, long time. Uh, you know, will the big money trust Rubio? Uh, will the big money uh, coalesce and say, "Okay, Trump's our man. Let's let's get it going here." There is going to be a lot going on in the next two months to really decide this. And remember, after we get through some of the, the SEC primaries, some of the other primaries are winner take all. You know, if Donald has winner take all where he's only getting 32, 35, 40 percent of the entire, you know, Republican vote in that state, how is that going to play out in the convention? What is going on behind the scenes with Rice Priebus and the Republican National Committee and some of the big moneyed interests of the PACs? Where is Karl Rove playing, you know, uh, where, where is he playing his cards on all of this? All of this is all going to start coming out and it can be really, really dirty as we head into this election cycle because it's, if it's going to start, it's going to start real soon.